Give it five years and I believe Justin Fields will absolutely be dominating the NFL. I can confidently say that it won't be very long until Fields is a top five quarterback in this league. Usually when players get traded, it means that the team either found someone better than you or they got something of more value than what they believe you to be. Or they flat out just don't want you anymore. The NFL and professional sports can be a cold business. Could you imagine waking up one day and just getting traded to another company in another state just because they got a new employee coming in? A lot of people couldn't even fathom that. It's just something that never has to cross their minds. Well, that was the reality for Justin Fields last week as he starts his new journey in Pittsburgh. Except something that we would all see as inconvenient, Fields just see as an absolute blessing. Getting traded to the Steelers will in fact be the best thing that could have ever happened to Justin Fields' playing career. It's a win-win situation for both the Bears and Fields, and something that was bound to happen the moment the Bears secured that first overall pick. That new employee coming in and taking your office space that I talked about earlier, well that guy in this case will be none other than former Heisman winner Caleb Williams. That same Caleb Williams who some people have called quite possibly the best quarterback prospect of all time, and the same guy drawing comparisons to Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, the media and Twitter GMs tried their hardest to make it seem like Drake May or Jane Daniels could make it competitive for who was the quarterback one of this draft class, but come on, it's not even close. Not saying that either of those two guys can't end up having a better NFL career, because that's definitely a possibility. But as far as who you take right now and who you build the future of your organization around, if you choose anybody other than Williams, you might as well get arrested on the spot. It was clearly the right decision to make. Taking Williams and giving away Fields, although he showed promise for the Bears last season, you just can't pass this up. You draft Williams and regardless, he's a rookie quarterback. His ups and downs will be tolerated by fans and the front office. But in a world where you keep Fields and he doesn't perform, and Caleb Williams ends up turning into the guy that everybody thinks he will be, he'll never work in the NFL again. It's hard to say now because obviously Victor Weminyana has turned out to be one of the best rookies the NBA has ever seen. So imagine though if the Spurs would have passed up on Wemby in last year's draft. It would have looked absolutely nuts. It is yet to be seen what Williams can do in the NFL. Fields on the other hand has shown amazing upside and I believe that all his potential will shine with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't even know where people got this notion that Fields wasn't a true passer and that he can only make plays with his legs. His whole tape at Ohio State showed that, oh this dude can sling it with the best of them. The only reason his running ability has been on display this much in the NFL is because that's exactly what he's had to do his whole time in Chicago, which is run for his life. The three years he's been in Chicago, his offensive line has been trash, hot garbage. Also before getting DJ Moore, who did he have to throw the ball to? And in a year where he missed four games, we saw the chemistry that him and DJ Moore were developing throughout the season. Playing in only 13 games, he put up the best passing numbers in his young career. As much as we try to make the quarterback position more individualized than the rest, football still is and always will be a team sport. With that being said, the quarterback can only have as much success as the pieces around him allow him to have. And tell me what quarterback in the NFL would have seen success with that Chicago Bears team, especially in their first three years in the league. So why was the expectation so large for Justin Fields? I'll tell you why. It's because people have now seen his ceiling, they've now seen what he's capable of doing, so they just expected more. But luckily for him, all that is over and he is now a Pittsburgh Steeler. And Mike Tomlin is a very happy man right about now. Something I have been preaching is not every young quarterback is ready to play or should be playing right away. Let them sit a year and learn. Easier said than done, obviously, when there are coaching and front office jobs on the line. But we look at the Packers, who before Jordan Love has had a Hall of Fame quarterback under center for damn near the last 30 years. I get not every quarterback has a Hall of Famer to sit behind and learn from, but is it a coincidence or is it saying something about the system? Rodgers sat behind Favre for a few years, and we can say he turned out pretty okay. Then Love got to sit behind Rodgers for a few years, and with the way that he ended last season, some could argue that he's a top 7-8 to eight quarterback in this league right now. We don't know yet if there will be a quarterback competition in Pittsburgh or not, but I'm hoping that Fields can just sit a year and learn from one of the best quarterbacks of this last decade. Let's not act like Russell Wilson wasn't that guy not too long ago. It might not be the easiest thing to basically redshirt in year four, but it might just be what's best for Fields' career. You get to go to an organization who prides themselves on having elite defense, and a team that hasn't had a losing season since Tomlin has become the head coach. The Steelers always draft well, so you know they're going to continuously put pieces around you to succeed. I say pieces around them because personally I'm not all the way sold yet on Najee Harris or George Pickens. Is Pickens to me a true wide receiver one? 
I'm not sure. It's hard to tell when you got guys like Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph throwing you the rock. I'm excited for Fields. It seemed especially after year two, the NFL media was trying to write him off the same way they do so many young quarterbacks if they don't pan out right away. All Fields has to do is continue to improve, do what he showed he's capable of doing in Chicago, and we will see a truly special player here in a few years.